going on everybody? Welcome back to another trout fishing tips video here at the channel. Today we're going to go through a trout trolling setup using a fish flash and one of the newest baits to hit the market which is the Yakima Bait Spinfish 2.0. Now when it comes to chasing trout, I love plunking and throwing spinners a lot, but I also love to jump into the boat and troll for trout as well. And one of the newest baits that have come out is the Yakima Bait Spinfish 2.0. So for this video, we're going to go through my favorite setup for trolling with the 2.0 version, which is the smallest version and the best version for trolling for trout. So let's start with the main line. I've got 25 pound braided on here as my main line. Now some of you guys might think that might be super overkill, but when you get into the bigger lake trout and Mackinac and some of the other bigger lunker trout you're gonna need a thicker and stronger main line so I go with 25 pounds as a starting point as my main line so the first thing I've got here is the t-stop and this t-stop ensures that my gear and my weight here doesn't slide into the top of my rod and damage my rod tip next up I got a little four millimeter bead to protect my T from my sliding spreader system which has my weight now this sliding spreader system is from Yakima bait and this is a great way to have a sliding weight off your main line and it allows you to ensure that you can get that weight down in the right position and if you're getting really close to the bottom on places say in shallow places where you're trolling you want to be able to have that dropper to keep your gear a little bit off the bottom and so from there I've got a 12 inch to 15 inch dropper off the sliding spreader here with my weight couple ounces two or three could do it even a one ounce could also do it as well you can use a dual lock snap here and change your weights off really really easily and if you're also trolling for salmon and steelhead this is a great spreader with the weight drop to add to your arsenal and your setup so after the sliding spreader system i've got a bead right next to the bead chain so the weight here the sliding spreader doesn't bang into the knot here on this bead chain the bead protects that from damaging so then from the bead to the bead chain i got a dual snap and then to my fish flash now this is a four inch yakima fish flash which i really like it's small and it's the right size for trout and kokanee if you're going to use this setup for a kokanee setup you can also go up to about a six inch but i really like this four inch fish flash now what i've got on here is the chartreuse which is one of my favorite fish flash colors when it comes to trolling for trout so then from the fish flash i got a little dual lock snap and then about 12 to 24 inches of line so then this 12 to 24 inches ties to a bead chain and then a dual lock snap so then from the last dual lock snap i've got the spin fish tied directly on now the leader that comes with the spin fish is 60 inches which is really really long for trolling for trout for this spin fish setup I recommend 24 to 48 inches behind that last dual step which gives you about three to four feet behind the fish flash now one important tip and keynote on the length of the leader for your spin fish is the longer the leader the slower the movement and the turn of that spin fish behind the fish flash if you shorten it up the more action and rotation that spin fish will have so consider that when you're trolling for trout or you use the setup for kokanee is the shorter leader is going to have a lot more action so play around and showcasing different lengths of that leader and different motions with the spin fish is going to attract the fish a little bit differently and then with the spin fish you have the leader line coming through a hole on one side but it also has a hole on the other side so you can go clockwise or counterclockwise with your rotation so whatever you're feeling comfortable with or whatever the fish might be liking you can change that leader line to go on one side or the other to change the direction of that spin fish spin in the water and then you've got the spin fish itself with a bead and then a double hook rig setup in the back which I really like just right out of the package I know some people have talked about changing the hooks out or changing to something that they preference or like for me I like to fish it right out of the package there's nothing wrong with it and for trout it's the perfect setup where I can get on the water really, really fast and fish with this. Now, if you're gonna troll with this setup for trout, the question is what type of bait or scent do you put into the scent chamber of the spin fish? Corn would be a good option, night crawlers, tuna, crawdads. You could put some power bait or even some trout nuggets into the chamber here and then also add your favorite scent. So something like anise, shrimp, corn garlic night crawler and what that allows you to do is become a mad trout scientist when it comes to what you could stuff your spin fish with you have so many different colors so many different options of bait and scent combinations to put in here you can play around with this and find the right one on the right body of water that you're fishing and have some really epic days of fishing so when you find that right color and right combination write that stuff down and go to it again because i guarantee if it works once 
it's gonna work again. And then one last tip for using the spin fish when you're trolling for trout in this setup. Once you're done for the day, make sure you take this apart and clean this out really, really well. You wanna get the bait and the scent out of the spin fish. You can use a little toothpick. I like to use a toothbrush to clean the outside and the inside with a little bit of lemon joy. So what I would recommend is when you pull the boat out of the water, get all your plugs out, clean them out, Get a little lemon joy on there, clean them nice and good. And once you clean them out, they'll be ready to go for the next day out on the water. And that's my trout trolling setup with the Spinfish 2.0 from Yakima Bait. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got some tips and information out of this. So the next time you guys go out trolling for trout, use this setup with the new Spinfish 2.0. I think this is gonna be a game changer for trolling for trout in years to come. And being able to customize the different leader length and the different baits and scents in the scent chamber, you could be a mad scientist and come up with the deadly combination that's going to help you catch more trout on the lake. So hit that like button, guys. Subscribe if you love trout fishing, trout fishing tips, and other outdoor content. And as always, guys, the outdoors is a gift. Share it with others.